I give you an example that how we can use this definition to find the cross product. I've given you two vectors a and b. A vector is 2, 1, minus 5, and b is 1, 1, and minus 2. We want to find here, find the cross product a cross b. So we are having here the cross product a cross b. As we defined, we get here the determinant i, j, and k, the, the components i, j, and k, the unit vectors along x axis, y axis, and z axis. Let me take first the component of A. Component of A are 2, minus 1 and 5. And component of B, component of B are 1, 1 and 2. Now we open this determinant from the first row. When we open it from the first row here, then we are having here the plus sign, I and minus sign and then plus sign. So we write the cofactor of <coughs> I. I get here minus 1, 5 and 1 and 2 multiplied by i. Then we have minus sign cofactor of j. Cofactor of j is <coughs> remove this row, remove this column, get 2, 5, 1, 2. Then we have in plus k and the, co the coefficient, the cofactor of k is removing this row, removing this column, we get 2 minus 1, 1, 1. Okay, so I open this one, and as we have discussed before, that when we multiply this 2 by 2, uh, determine, uh, determine 2 by 2 matrix, we can having here the plus sign and we having here minus sign. So we can apply this one, and we'll get here this equal to minus 1 into 2 is minus 2, 1 into 5 is 5, and then minus sign minus 5 into i minus. But j, we having here 2 into 2 is 4, and 1 into 5 is again this is my, well, 5, then minus sign minus 5 into j plus we have 2 into 1 is 2 1 into minus 1 become plus and we having k we simplify this one we having here minus 7 i uh, minus uh, into minus become plus plus j and plus 3 k so that's my uh, cross product of the vector a and b and we get here 7 i and we are having here uh, minus 1 j uh, 7i minus j, this is minus 1 become plus and plus 3k, so that's my result which, which I get it from here. So, we have very interesting results which are being uh, fixed with the uh, cross product and I can show you here. When we take the cross product of these two vectors, this is a vector, a cross b is a vector. Now, I take the dot product of a cross b with a. So, I have here uh, as a note. I find here a cross b dot product with a. Let's make cross b. I say my a cross b is uh, here we get uh, minus 7. We are having here 1 and we are having here 3. We take dot product with a. What's my a? My a is 2 minus 1 and 5. We take the cross product, what we get here, minus 7 into 2 plus 1 into minus 1 plus 3 into 5. So, when we simplify this, we get here minus 14, minus 1 plus 15. We get here minus 15 plus 15 and the result is equal to 0. When two vectors, we have the dot product 0, then we say they are orthogonal. So, we say A cross B is orthogonal to A. That's my conclusion. This one is my number one. Number two, now I take the cross product, this is A cross B as a vector, and we take dot product of this one with B. So it's my A cross B, my A cross B is minus seven. We have one, we have three, dot product with, uh, with B. What's my B? My B is one, one and two. We take the dot product, we get here minus seven, A1, B1, plus A2, b2 plus a3 b3 so we get here this is equal to minus 7 plus 1 plus 6 is equal to minus 7 plus 7 result is equal to 0 that gives the conclusion that a cross b is orthogonal to b that's my third is uh, second result now my third result is that if i interchange a and b i take b cross a so what's my b cross a i get here i j and k <coughs> now first we take b <coughs> my b is 1 1 and 2 now i take my a my a is 2 minus 1 and 5 
Now I take here the cross product. So cross product is with I. I'm having here 5 uh, plus 2, the cofactor, then minus J. The cofactor is 5 minus 4, 5 minus 4. And with K, I have the cofactor is minus 1 and minus 2, minus 1 and minus 2. So the result I will get here 7i, then get minus j and get minus 3k. So that's the result I will get. Now I compare this result with this one. This is my result 1 and this I take as a result 2. From 1 and 2, from result 1 and 2, we can say a cross b is equal to minus b cross a. When I multiply this with minus, what I will get? minus 7 plus j and plus ck so this a cross b is equal to minus because this is the property the property is that we having here the a cross b that's orthogonal to a and then we have seen that a cross b is orthogonal to b and then we have seen a cross b is equal to minus b cross a so this was the definition and some of the properties of the cross product related with the def definition one that we have two vectors that's uh, here a and b want to take the cross product so first is a so you get here the first row second row as a then is b then the third row is b so we can see it here if you can see if we interchange these two then we have seen in the in the in the definitions of the determinants the property then we get here minus sign when we have determinant of a is equal to minus determinant of a a2 when we interchange them when we interchange them we get one. the same thing has happened here so actually what we did we interchange these two rows we get here result as a minus sign. We are having minus b cross a. So we get minus sign. So that's the idea there. Then we have the second one. Then we take this definition and we open it from the first row. i into cofactor, j into cofactor, k into cofactor. Apply on this definition and then we have seen these two important results. That we are having the cross product a cross b orthogonal to a. And a cross b is also orthogonal to b. And then we are having here a cross b is equal to minus b cross a. 